Mission City in Hollywood, California. A colorful parade of talented contestants with Ted Mack and the original Amateur Hour. I get a warm romantic notion when you use aqua valve lotion. That's how our romance began because there's something about an aqua valve Use Ice Blue Aqua Velva, the aftershave lotion that's better for your skin. Contains Umectin, a wonderful skin conditioner, regular or new menthol. Geritol, a high-potency vitamin, iron-rich tonic to help you feel stronger, presents... Ted Mack and the original Amateur Hour. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, this, this is the day we've all been waiting for for many months now. Our, our staff has combed this golden state of California, and today we're presenting for the first of our series of, of 12 color casts from Television City in Hollywood, an exciting brigade of talented amateurs, and they're all anxiously waiting backstage, and you'll be meeting them as soon as I spin the Wheel of Fortune for the 1,476th time. So round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. It looks like it's green for go. As a matter of fact, in uh, the case of this opening act, it's, uh, what do they call it, a go-go. These nine young people over here got their own colorful jazz. They uh, call themselves the Spotlights in their go-go jazz. So there they are. play like adults. Those were the spotlights and their go-go jazz. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is just a sample of the kind of talent we've seen all over California, and you'll be seeing it each week. And uh, incidentally, it doesn't matter whether the amateur hour comes to you from Hollywood or Miami or New York, the, the voting is just the same. You simply write the name of your favorite on a postal card, sign it, and send it to us at Box 191 Radio City Station in New York. Now we have a high school student from San Diego. She sort of fits the the regular pattern of the original amateur hour, she likes to do her entertaining the hard way. She's not content with just tap dancing. She wants to juggle while she dances, and she's going to do just that. Her name is Carolyn Stockton. <laughs>
fired because of iron poor blood, here is clinical proof of what Geritol iron power can do. This is an actual photo micrograph from a doctor's study of iron poor tired blood. You see the cells are few in number and they're badly shaped. Now, iron poor blood like this can make you feel tired. But now look, the same patient after taking Geritol. More red blood cells, iron rich, better shaped. And this is what Geritol can do that vitamins alone can't. Because just two Geritol tablets or two tablespoons of Geritol liquid contains seven vitamins plus twice the iron and a whole pound of calf's liver. In just one day, Geritol iron power is in your bloodstream carrying strength and energy to every part of your body. You check with your doctor and if you feel tired because of iron poor blood, take Geritol every day and feel stronger fast. In just seven days or your money back from Geritol. Now, our next singing contestant was born in Indonesia. Uh, she started her serious vocal training in Indonesia in 1962. She decided to come to America in order to continue her studies. Her name is Helen Kwok. Uh, wh where have you been going to school, Helen? I went to a Kendall College in Evanston, Illinois, and I stayed there for a year and a half. And then I transferred to Immaculate Heart College in here, Hollywood. Uh -huh. And how are things working out for you? Well, it's wonderful. You, uh, uh, well, they, they tell me that you are quite a, a dedicated young lady. You, uh, someone asked you about your social life. You said that uh, your thoughts were not on social life at this point, but is that what something of what you said? Yes, I, it is my deep desire to become a mature musician. Mm -hmm. And I believe strongly that it's only through concentration I can achieve my goal. Mm -hmm. Well, you are dedicated. Let, let us listen to you sing. This is Helen Kwok from Indonesia. <laughs> Radio City Station in New York. Now a contestant from Southgate, California. He's a Navy veteran, had his own TV antenna business. Now he works as a sales administrator for a local construction company. He lists an unusual hobby here, uh, human kite flying. This is Robert Robertson. Bob, you've got to tell us about this human kite business. 
Well, Mr. Mack, it's a 12 by 14 kite that's attached to a nylon rope. It's attached to a boat, and I attach myself to the kite, and when the boat takes off, I take off. You mean you, you actually fly? I actually fly. No kidding. How fast do you do? Oh, it's approximately 35 to 40 miles an hour, depending on the wind. Is that? that that's pretty dangerous stuff there. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say. It. I think it's safer than the Los Angeles freeways. <laughs> I'll go along with that one, boy. I, uh, <laughs> I've had a baptism of fire since I got out here. Anyway, let's see what you can do here on solid ground. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine who is in my guitar, Johnny Fortune. Close the door, I'm not ready. What'd you say? Close the door, I'm not ready. What's wrong, Johnny? I'm not quite ready yet. I'll call you. You'll call me? What do you expect me to do? I don't care. Do anything you want. <laughs> My buddy. Oh, Josh fought the Battle of Jericho. Jericho, oh, Jericho. Josh fought the Battle of Jericho. Hello, Johnny. Yeah, are you ready? <laughs> Am I ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, listen, now. Uh, I'm going to start playing, and you come out singing, all right? All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye. My good friend. That girl say, oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, how you can love. You thrill us through and through. I'm not handsome, it's true. kite flying to the uh, little fellow in the guitar. Here's a trio from Fontana, California. Looks like they uh, believe in keeping it all in the family. Uh, Jeannie, Paulette, and Jenna. Janet are the singing sisters, and their vocal coach is their dad, and I'm sure their dad is the one who taught them this number because it's all about things that happened long before any of them were born. Um, these are the Nelson sisters. Do you remember when dear old daddy was only a kid The flapper hats and derbies and spats Do you remember when? Do you remember the Dixieland jazz? The Vody Ojo and Razzmatazz You broke your back a ball in the jack Do you remember when? Oh, those good old days Ain't here no more Yes, sir, those good old days Knocking on a door Sisters singing, singing, do you remember when? 
You know, the awful part is that I do remember when. Huh? So, um, here's a word about birthdays and how you can help keep them happy. Happy birthday, dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. The years after 35 can be the happiest years of your life. Fun years, wonderful years. Are your birthdays happy birthdays? Or is irregularity making you grouchy, headachy, out of sorts? Remember, as you get older, your digestive system tends to slow down, become sluggish. And the laxative you're now using may no longer be the best one for you. That's why today, you should try Saratan, the all-vegetable laxative aid, especially for folks over 35. You see, you may not be getting enough of an important laxative ingredient nature puts into fruits and vegetables. Saratan has this regulating ingredient in concentrated form. Taken daily, Saratan wakes up your slowed down system, gets you regular, and keeps you regular. Try Saratan. When you read Saratan backwards, it spells nature's. Bill Hayes is a bachelor from Burbank. He's a retired Navy veteran, and his partner, Cap Arnold, is also retired. Cap, incidentally, is a grandfather and a great-grandfather. They uh, got themselves something going over there. They're both banjo players. They call themselves the Banjo Troubadours. <laughs> Here's, a, here's an ex-Marine Corps veteran. Uh, he um, started his singing, uh, not a career, but he just started to sing, just discovered that he could sing, he tells me, when he was given an opportunity at the base chapel in Kaneohe, Hawaii, when he was a Marine. Been singing ever since, and he's going to sing I Wish You Love, Lloyd Young. <laughs> Los Angeles, 
Davis, California, and the voting address is Box 191, Radio City Station in New York. Ah, uh, here's a little one and a great big piano. She's from Torrance, California, goes to Edison Grammar School there. Her name is Joni Kahn, and Joni, you're on. Go ahead, dear. <laughs> Some clever little people with a wonderful idea. Watch carefully. Some people can fall asleep anytime, any place. But if you can't sleep because of simple nervous tension or daily problems, you need Somonix for restful, natural-like sleep. And the wonderful thing about Somonix is that it's absolutely not habit-forming. Just take two Somonix tablets as directed. You'll enjoy 100% safe sleep. Yet you're alert to any emergency. You'll wake up thoroughly refreshed. Take Somonex tonight and sleep. Safe and restful sleep, sleep, sleep. Take two Somonex tablets and sleep. Now we have another three-time winner to announce. The singing student from Bethune Cookman College in Daytona Beach, Florida, did it again. So that means another entry in our 1966 National Amateur Championships. That was Clementine Hightower. <laughs> we practically have the stage full of uh, singing citizens representing the city of Downey, California. We have. Uh, everything from teachers to truck drivers in this group and and we've got a lot of parents too 50 children and all they say they're under the direction of Marjorie Phelan they're known as the voices of Phelan
pick a winner out of all of this talent you've seen. Let's have another round of applause for the voices of Phelan. One more round of applause. There they are. And here's the little pint-sized pianist from Torrance, California. Send that little one running out here. Where is she? There she comes, little Joni Cox. Here's the singing Marine from Los Angeles, Lloyd Young, and the banjo-playing young fellas. Three singing sisters from Fontana, the ventriloquist and human kite, the Indonesian soprano, the juggling tap dancing teenager from San Diego, and the swinging youngsters who opened the show, the Spotlighters. Well, this is only the first in our series of 12 shows from California, and I, I think you better make sure that you're around, because they're worthwhile. Before we go any further, I want to thank General Manager Bob Wood and Bob Nelson of Station KNXT, and of course, all of this wonderful crew and, and camera crew around here. Everyone has been wonderful to us. I want to uh, remind you to stop feeling tired because of iron poor blood. Take Geritol every day. And mothers, you give your child Geritol Jr., rich in essential vitamins and iron. We'll be back at the same time next week with another talent battle royal from Hollywood. And until then, on behalf of these amateurs, the sponsor, the staff, and myself, thank you all very, very much. See you next week. The original Amateur Hour is produced by Lewis Graham. Directed by Jack Hine and Lloyd Marks. What is it? It's my electric razor with wings. Put wings on your electric razor with Williams Electric Shave. You'll skim off the toughest beard smoother, closer with any electric razor. Williams Electric Shave instantly evaporates perspiration to end razor drag. It sets up your beard for a closer shave. It lubricates your skin for a smoother shave. Put wings on your electric razor. Get Williams Electric Shave in the Splash-On Bottle or new Glide-On Applicator. Look for the big L, first letter in... Electric Shave! Ted Mack and the original Amateur Hour has been brought to you by Geritol, the high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic to help you feel stronger. And now, this is Bob Shepard wishing you good night and good health from the J.B. Williams Company. Participants on this pre-recorded program were selected and interviewed by the audition staff in advance. Accommodations in connection with this program have been furnished to the original amateur hour by Gene Autry's Hotel Continental.